Okay. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, back again with another noodle, and I decided to try something different. And I went to the store, uh, the Asian store, and I found this, and I never tried it before. Tempura Udon Noodle. Flavor. Now, according to this, um, it's made in Korea, as I see. And the ingredients, well, it's mostly fish and, you know, fish cakes, uh, fried fish cake and dried fish cake and all. And, you know, feeling quite good about it. I mean, the picture looks pretty good, but we all know that's not going to be... <laughs> Uh, that's not going to be accurate, isn't it? So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and try this out. So, uh, open the inside. Uh, instruction was pretty clear. And, ooh, look at these. Huh. What are the smells? Yeah, not much, but yeah, probably something. Uh, instruction was pretty clear, you know. I uh, filled the water until the ring on the inside. And of course, I uh, add this first. So, it's powder. So that's good. And on the plus side here, I won't burn my mouth off, so I won't need any milk. Uh, and then, you know, add water together with this. Wait four minutes. And then enjoy and eat. So I'll be right back. Okay, it's been uh, four minutes, maybe five. So it looks to be pretty much done. All I have to do is just stir it around to get the seasoning all stirred up. Now I could use a fork, but uh, you know what? I got something better. Chopsticks. Yeah. Let's go authentic, baby. And of course, there you go. <laughs> Sorry for the camera movement. I'm 100% uh, used to it. And what do it smells like? Ooh, ah, it smells okay. All right, and these fish cake are feels pretty soft. I mean, for the packets to say that they are udon, they don't really look like udon at all. Just regular noodles. Now, uh, last time when I did my first video, I had a camera directed at me, and I ate the whole bowl of. Uh, that painful experience in my life. Well, not painful. I had, uh, had a, I ate spicier noodles than the ghost pepper one, believe it or not. But when it comes to that, if I ever gonna eat that noodle, those noodle again, I don't know, maybe if, uh, I don't know, you wish to see it, then I would do it. Other than that, uh, let's try this out. And go. Mmm. Oh, pretty good flavor. Although, don't understand where the fishiness should come to. Um, yeah, I have a little bit of difficulty eating with the substick, but I'm learning as I go. You know, it's not really eating noodles if you don't slurp. All right, but what about these uh, fish cakes? Do they are they gonna taste good? Uh, let's try it out. Oh man! Oh, Jesus! Yeah, I don't know about the fish cakes themselves. Uh, the outside is uh, pretty soggy. 
I mean, of course, when you pour it in water, it becomes soggy. But the inside is uh, extremely suey. Like, let me take another one. Yeah. Yeah, the fish cake are the worst part. Don't taste that much. And it's like chewing a rubber. But the noodles and the broth or the sauce, whatever, soup, they're pretty good. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it took a while to swallow. <laughs> the rubbery bits <laughs> almost gave me a sort of like a gag reflex but I think really a power true but these noodles and the broth they were they were the best part but again I wouldn't say that they are the best noodles they are pretty uh, basic the flavors are alright and all but yeah, I think, uh, I know, I, if I saw this again, I mean, it doesn't taste bad, it tastes good, and the, like I said, the fish cake, uh, that one day, they are not worth it, uh, soggy on the outside, rubbery on the inside, noodles are fine as they are, they're not special, the broth, the, Flavors are pretty good. So if I'm gonna rate this, I would probably give it um I don't know, um six out of ten, maybe six and a half out of ten. They were pretty good. So that's it for today and sorry you didn't see my face devouring these noodles. Well you know, it's not it's not the last time because um well There's going to be more to come. See you then.